The Roamer role is probably the hardest role for carrying solo rank, especially if you're a matchup with many inexperienced teammates. Even though it's quite challenging to hard carry as the Roamer, there are certain heroes and tips that you could use that will give you a better chance of overcoming this type of scenario. I would recommend Roamers that can actually dish a lot of damage, for example, Hylos, Helker, Ruby, Guinevere, Gato Kacha, and Johead. Once again, I will be playing this match with the best gaming phone out there right now. Of course I'm talking about the Red Magic 9 Pro. The phone features a sleek flat rear design with durable glass and no camera bomb, so it feels very nice when you hold it, especially when gaming. The screen is huge and I would say it's the perfect rectangle size for a mobile screen. It has the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset, which is the fastest right now, has one of the most long lasting battery life, and it also has an extremely powerful fan that will keep your phone cool even when you're having a long gaming session, which is absolutely crucial for mobile gamers. Also, Red Magic has their own cute avatar, and his name is Mora. You can enable the gaming mode with this red switch on the side of the phone. Here, you can customize your phone and add more on your home screen, and depending where you tap her, she will say different things. I'm warning you, Commander! You are making risky moves! Don't pretend that we are that familiar. And I think just recently they updated her, and now you can even customize her skins and she has more voice line as well. I get it now. That's how it is. <laughs> it tickles! It tickles! <laughs> It seems like you're prepared to face danger this time. Diablo mode! Activate! Laura loves you! What's going on here? Was that an earthquake? Oh, it was just the captain's prank! Purchase the Red Mighty 9 Pro by using the link in the description or pinned comment. In this match, nobody banned Hylos, and since we got the first pick, I had no doubt that S1 would swap with me. But lo and behold, he first picked Mia. Smiley face. And of course they will pick Hylos, since he's one of the most powerful tanks in the current meta. Anyway, just by this action alone, he pretty much gives you an idea of the amount of experience these players have. I couldn't pick a normal roamer where Roamer they're just good at sustaining but lacks the damage. I had the feeling that if I didn't pick a Roamer that could dish out plenty of damage, we will have almost no chance of winning this. So I decided to go with Jawhead. And this was probably the best decision I could have made for this specific match, and you'll get what I mean later on. I wanted to make a surprise early play in the goal lane. But their marksman did something even more surprising. I was waiting for a jungler to get closer first, and I was also waiting for Yin to start his buff first before engaging him. <laughs> Once again, I had to wait for a jungler, because I knew there was no way I could solo kill Hanabi. I have seen many players making this rookie mistake of not being patient and rushing the gank. A lot of times you gotta be patient and wait for the right timing. The 
It was very tricky because their early game is definitely way stronger than ours. Fighting them head on wouldn't be wise, so I had to wait till their backline was more vulnerable. I was not planning to go for a tank, but since our image committed, I figured we had enough damage to burst him down. Even though we had a really solid start, it won't be this case for long. Our jungler wasn't the most experienced, but that's fine. You gotta make do with what you are dealt with. It's part of the journey. I saw their mage moving towards this way. So I set an ambush. I just had to make sure to dodge his second skill. I saw Regine coming from the side. I will try to save our mage. Gora and I were pretty in sync though. Damn, I even baited Veil's old. Rip, I got greedy.
our marksmen have been doing a great job as Solo is pretty pushing the bottom lane so far, but at this point of the game, we need her to start joining us in those big team fights. Even though we took the other marksmen right away, we still somehow lost the fight quite badly. This is why Hylos is so OP right now. Just forcing him to waste his flicker was a great outcome already. At least my sacrifice allowed my teammate to take down the Lord with ease. Somehow you escaped. Gore was so out of position here. No way.
Welp. Things were looking super rough for us. There was nothing I could do to stop them from taking the Lord. It was better to see if I could push the bottom wave and hope that the next minion wave could take down the last inhibitor. Not gonna overcommit for a tank. Just gonna try to see if I could waste some of their ult. Here, it was pretty clear that Phobius was almost guaranteed to die. That's why my eyes immediately shifted to the next target. What an intense match this was. Probably if I had played a more defensive Roma instead, our chance of winning this one would have been slim to none. But I won't take full credit, because I gotta admit that our girl was landing some very crucial stones here and there. Anyway that's all for now, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.